Welcome back, peeps. Thank you for tuning in the Banner Bros channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the craziest class in Warzone. This is not just what I believe the best class. This is obviously the best ride shield class for Warzone, right? This class is honestly not just the best in terms of you get kills and you can help your squad it is i would believe the funnest class in warzone all right so i'm going to be go jumping into the class setup then i'm going to be showing you a gameplay where i won a solos on a trios game after my partner left the game all right so let's jump right into this video and as well if you do it like and enjoy please remember to like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on it deeply appreciate it a lot so let's jump right into the video All right, so starting off, let's go ahead and jump right into that loadout. So this has a two-part section um, into this loadout because one is the right shield and then one is going to be my secondary. So let's jump right into the first one. Again, remember to change your loadout name and I put right shield so it's easy to recognize when I am going to pick my loadout in the field. First one, obviously, is going to be the right shield. It's going to be in the melee section. You can't put anything on this, so no attachments are going to go in the right shield. For my secondary weapon, it doesn't really matter because most of the time I already have another weapon which I'm going to exchange for but I use a Renetti if you do have it a Kimbo I wouldn't suggest really using a Kimbo because most of the time you are shooting kind of like medium range but I mean if you want it doesn't really matter but if you do have a Kimbo maybe uh, uh, slap that in there but again I usually switch the weapon for the other one I have now these are the most important ones which are going to be the perks the first one's going to be EOD now somebody in my comment section explained to me how EOD works in in warzone so basically obviously if you have eod it is going to be you're going to take reduced damage from explosives and from fire so this is obviously what you want with the right shield because when you have a right shield it's going to cause for people to throw grenades and rocket launchers at you but the way eod works in warzone is if somebody throws a c4 at you and explodes it you are actually going to lose your health first before the armor which is something that i noticed quite a bit of times and this was again explained to me in one of the comment section but eod is really important because if they two throw two c4s at you it will not down you you will have i mean a, a really really small amount of health that you know one shot kills you but again two shots with the two c4 throws will not kill you which is really really important uh next up we're gonna have the perk 2 which is again one of the most important time and it's gonna be restock but for warzone only as you guys can see the recharge equipment is gonna be 50 seconds so what restock does is that your tacticals and your lethals get restocked over time you don't need to pick any up and again they will be restocked for over 50 seconds again this is going to be crucial when you are selecting this perk 3 again another crucial one is going to be apt so you will have faster weapon swap and rocket launcher reload speed but the most important one being that faster weapon swap again you're gonna to have to swap the ghost perk for the restock but i really have not found any issue with that because with this class i'm ready to face off anybody so i'm not afraid if they see me in the heartbeat sensor or with the uav now let's jump with the another the two main parts of this class that are going to be crucial and one is going to be the tactical which is going to be the grass the gas grenade and the next one is going to be the thermite the gas grenade is explodes on impact so as soon as you throw it and it hits the ground it's going to explode when it hits the ground it's going to create like this tear gas uh cloud that cloud that what, what this causes is that your enemy will basically kind of like move really slow the same with a stun grenade they will have blurred vision and they will start coughing so when they start coughing they can only hit fire so they can still shoot you but for they they can only kind of like hit fire and if they have a kimbos because they're using one hand to cough they will only be able to use one of the pistols to shoot so they can still shoot but they can't aim or anything like that um and again just something to be aware of the gas grenade also does affect you but it does not affect your teammates so again i'm going to go in depth on how to use this whole class in a little bit next one's going to be lethal which is going to be the thermite and this burns directly again on impact so it works as a throwing knife as well so if you stick this to the enemy they will basically keep on burning which is why i use the thermite instead of the throwing knife throwing knife um you just have to be a little bit more exact the the, the thermite allows me to throw it to the ground or to throw it to a room and it it can still cause damage to that enemy now let's jump into some gameplay and i will explain basically how this class works oh before i i, I almost forgot before i did that uh, my second one which is going to be basically my ar the ar that i use um it's going to be this one right here which is going to be my second one and it's going to be the ak-47 and i'm going to have the monolithic suppressor 
the Romanian barrel, which is the, the longest barrel available in the class, the mini reflex sight, the skeleton stock, which allows me to move faster and aim down sight faster, and the rear grip, which has aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Uh, and again, the perks for this one are going to be exactly the same because you want to have the perks exactly the same and the lethal exactly the same. So it doesn't matter when you pick one up. Like, for example, if you forget and you choose your assault rifle first, you can still go ahead and choose your right shield and you're going to have exactly the same. So have the same exact perks and the same lethal and tacticals for your loadout class. Um, and again, the reason why I choose the AK is because I want to have a gun that I can still kill people from pretty far distances and you can with the AK and is a hard hitting weapon that you can down enemies really, really fast. So this is why I use the AK. It's just going to be one of my favorite ones to use in this gameplay. I didn't get to, you know, I didn't get to pick my second loadout. So I was running the MP7, which is the gun in the ground. But just so you guys know, this is my second loadout. Now, now that being said, let's jump right into this video and let it explain to me how this class works. All right, so let's jump in to the most important part of the video. All right, and that is going to be how to utilize this class because it's not as easy as one, two, three, you know, you put this class and then you're a boss ass bitch, right? That's not how this class works. I need to explain to you the basics of this class so you guys can utilize it to the best of your abilities and get a lot of dubs with this class. All right, so first off, let's talk about the tacticals. How do you use the tacticals, all right? So first off, remember what I told you. When you use the gas grenade, be aware that it will affect you and it will affect the enemy at the same time, right? So something that you got to do as well, as you guys can see me right here, is I use my gas grenade, I use my thermite to hit him, and then I switch immediately to my gun and I kill him. That is basically the gist of one of the main kinds of battles in this game, right? First, you throw your gas. He's confused. He doesn't know what the hell is going on. You throw the thermite right at him. Once you hit him, you change immediately to your gun. Uh, sorry, yeah, you change immediately to your gun and then you kill him. Usually what I try to do with this one is I do try to drop shot a lot. Why? Because when you hit him with the gas, most of the time they're not going to be, you know, trying to look at you or whatever because a lot of people don't use gas and gas grenades in this game. So obviously a lot of people use heartbeat sensors. What happens when not a lot of people use gas grenades? They're not used to what it feels like to be in a gas grenade. So usually when you hit people with the gas grenade, they're not really expecting it and they're kind of like, like, you know, like what the fuck is going on? you know what is this obviously if you use it a lot and you use the class a lot you get used to it and you know how to maneuver around the gas grenade so that's why it's very important that when you're using the gas grenade you always go ahead and push your enemies because most of the time they're not going to be used to the feelings of the gas grenade as well you guys can see here what you play with this class is you play time because you want to look at your bottom right corner you can see with the like kind of like the recharge level of your tactical so you always want to play time and you always want to make sure you have at least one gas grenade and at least one thermite again so talking about just a general gist of the class when you gas somebody and then you throw the thermite out of them what i try to do is i usually try to drop shit them because like their vision gets kind of blurry they don't really know what's going on so when you drop shit them i mean they have zero chance i mean zero chance of killing you they're not even gonna know where the hell you went especially when their vision is all blurry and then you go down on the ground and then you got your right shield in the back obviously so they're not gonna be able to hit you in the back now here you're gonna see a situation when i'm gonna face off two people um and you're gonna see how i did this so usually that's why my class has silencer that's why i pick up guns that have silencer what i'm gonna do again the first thing that you guys see me do is throw the gas grenade that is the first thing that you should always do and again why is it obviously the first thing you want to throw the gas grenade so they don't even have a clue why again when you throw the gas grenade it it slows their movement down so what is this going to cause this is going to cause that they can't move around that easy and spot where the enemy is shooting at them so i'm going to throw the gas grenade first and then i'm going to start shooting at them so they're going to even have no idea where the gas grenade is going to be starting from and as you guys can see me i pick my targets i kill one and what I do immediately is I take my right shield out. I want to I want to explore the vision. And you guys are gonna see here a little guy that's camping. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick the thermite right to him. And as you guys can see there, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play time with my riot shield, waiting until he dies. I did throw that extra gas grenade. Um, something that you also need to know is that if you throw the gas grenade. And you go in it, you'll start coughing, but then you'll like regain your stuff back again. So if you want to jump, jump as soon as you can in the gas grenade so the effect goes out uh, a little bit faster. But again, going back to the way the class works, basically, again, remember when when you throw the gas grenade at them, they're not even going to know what the hell is going on. So again, throw the gas grenade, throw the thermite if you can to one of them, drop shut them. And then again, as soon as you kill one of them, put your right shield on. It's going to be very important. Right shield allows you to have visibility on the field without getting shot, which is very important. That's why I shoot that guy. 
I grab my ride shield and I kind of like peek back, you know, and I'm trying to see what, what is going on. So here I've got this video rolling in the background, which I'm going to pause uh, in a little bit just so I can explain how it's going on. Because you can see when you're peeking at stuff, you always want to go ahead and use your ride shield. Again, something very important when you that you need to know is when you are running with your ride shield, the ride shield is on your right hand side. Uh, and it actually does cover a pretty significant amount of that right hand side. So just always be aware of that. And if you're running away from enemies, try to have them on your right hand side. Uh, just obviously so you know or so they can't shoot you so here we're gonna have in the final situation I'm gonna th see three people again you guys see the first thing that I did there throw my gas grenade it is very 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 important you throw that gas grenade they're gonna start coughing they have blur vision and then they start getting shot trust me when I say this they have no goddamn idea where you're coming from um, you can even hear in this part of the video like when I kill the guy I'm gonna pop the, the volume a little bit let me see when I kill him Again, you see where did it come from? Like the guy was like, "What?" Like, the guy's like, "What?" Like, like what? He's like, "You got no idea." I mean, when they're in this gas and then you kill them, like they've got no goddamn idea where you are coming from. I mean, it, it is insane. So let's pop that video a little bit down. And again, that drop shot to get that kill. And again, very, very important when you have the right shield to always have your um, plates ready because right shield basically enables people to be shooting stuff at you. Again, as you guys can see, use of that smoke. I'm going to go ahead and down that enemy. going to go ahead and reload and put my shield again. Like I was saying, uh, when you have the right shield, it, it it just basically entitles people to start throwing nades and rocket launchers at you and C4s and everything. So I always go ahead and have your uh, fully loaded thing. Again, here, just going to go ahead and peek with my gun just to see where the last enemy is. Um, again, what I'm trying to do is, remember, I'm always looking at my right-hand side. Of, I always want to know when I have a gas grenade ready and when I have uh, my thermite ready. So I see one of the guys, I take him down. The other guy's gonna try and push on me. What I'm gonna do is jump in here and he's gonna try and push me. He's gonna take me down and I think another guy's gonna come. Again, something very important. Always try to have your gun reloaded, but as you guys can see here, I see this guy in front of me and he's reloading. What I'm gonna do, chase through my right shield insanely fast. He's gonna have nothing else. I see that I have gas grenades. I pop the gas grenade in the, in the floor. What I start doing, uh, something very important is you always need to stand up when you're hitting the enemy. Because if you're crouched and they're above you, they can kind of like obviously see you, shoot you from over top. So always make sure you're above them. And then what I do is I shoot him in the gas grenade. He doesn't even have no idea what's going on. I go ahead, drop shot for the win. Because he's going to be the... Oh my god, I, I accidentally moved that while I was too excited on my replay that I got. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and down him. And then obviously for the win, I'm going to go ahead and hit him. And get that dubs 11 kill in that solo trios match, which was insane obviously my partner left me and i was all alone and i still managed to get this victory and something else that i wanted to do tell you guys is this class is very very team based you can win a lot of one-on-ones i mean it's very very powerful one-on-one -on -one, but it's even more powerful when you're playing with your teams because it, it since it doesn't affect your teammates it's a, it's very important that you throw the gas grenade and then your teammates come pushing right behind you because obviously it's affecting the enemy but then it's not affecting your friends so it's very very powerful too when you attack with your friends and when you have two of these classes, it's going to be even crazier. Let's say you got two people with these classes. Somebody, you, you always kind of like rotate, right? So I, I have a partner and we both have the classes. I'm going to throw the gas grenade first. And I'm going to say, all right, gas grenade is out. I hit the enemy. My other partner, he knows, he hears me. And what he's going to do is he's going to rush because that gas can affect him. But the gas did affect the enemy. Next thing, let's say there's another enemy. He says, all right, I threw the gas. And then I'm going to go behind him because the gas can't affect me. But it can affect his uh, the enemies that he threw it at. So it's very, very important that you communicate with your squad. And as well, you're kind of like the visualizer. You're kind of like the spotter for the team. Since you can pick, win uh, pick windows without snipers shooting at you from a 1,000 meters out and headshotting you. It's very important that you are, you're always peeking the windows and trying to spot enemies and trying to see where they are. Sometimes you won't get a lot of kills with this class. Sometimes you will. I mean, because a lot of times you, you're going to be playing the shield guy. For example, if a guy, you know, he, he gets down, you're going to go ahead and cover him with your shield. So you do have to be aware of that part. I only explained, you know, like the killing part, but also do be aware to try and play your class correctly. The right shield is very, very powerful when it comes to when they down your teammates, when you're trying to cover them, when they're running. So always play that class correctly. And I, and trust me when I say this, you're going to get a lot more wins. Honestly, I, I have been getting a lot more wins since I started using this class. It does take a little bit of time to master it, you know, like when you're going to throw smoke, when you're going to throw thermite, when you want to switch uh, your gun, when do you want to switch your guns, all those kind of things. This is just going to come into play when you, um, when uh, the, the amount of time of practice and the amount of time that you put into this uh, class. Just again, remember, 
always have your two loadouts selected with the same amount of perks and with the same tacticals your assault rifle and your right shield that you're gonna have if you do want to use another gun i would recommend a submachine gun because it switches really really fast and then you can shred enemies uh really fast but i like to, again i said i like to use my ak-47 because it allows me to help my teammates sometimes maybe if they're in a medium uh gun fight or something like that but again thank you for tuning in let me know what you guys think of this class let me know if you guys try it. uh thank you everybody for tuning in peace out everybody and i'll see you all in the next one.